Okay, just doing a short video. Um, never mind my voice. I got a cold. These kids is killing me. One of them gets sick, everybody gets sick. No exception to that. So anyway, my phone is tripping. Right now it keep rebooting. I don't know what's going on with it. But this is my baby right here, so I gotta take care of him. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show y'all what's happening. It's just in case it happened to y'all. You know what I'm saying? You can fix it. Destroy that. You see it right here, just boot it up. Now, what I'm, what I'm saying is, it's got problems. I mean, it got problems. You're about to see in a second. Like, I can just, I'm gonna just leave it alone. But it keeps rebooting over and over and over and over again. You see that? It just rebooted. No reason at all. But for the fact that this joint is sick. And I think it must have caught my cold because it just started acting like this today. I just started getting sick today. So just to tell you, you know what I'm saying, show you how my phone is really an extension to me. I'm saying we just going through it right now. So what I'm gonna do is to resolve this, I'm gonna hard set, hard reset the phone or factory reset. This is gonna take it back to the default settings and hopefully this resolves the issue. If I could do that with myself, I would. But until then, I gotta take some hauls, some Theraflu, vitamin C. They don't make that for phones, so I gotta do what I gotta do. So, as you see, it just rebooted again. And I just thought of this because I have to wake up early in the morning. You know, I gotta, I got things to do. And this is how I wake up with my phone. It alarms me. And it tells me to wake up. And now it can't do that because it's rebooting. So what I'm gonna do is, see the back here? You just take this battery out. Let it chill out for a second. It's, all, it's completely off right now. So what I'm gonna do to start the reset, this is Droid X. I'm going to hold down the power button here and the home button. I'm gonna press them together. Now hopefully this works the first time because I've never actually done this before but I don't feel like shooting a bunch of videos so hopefully this works so I got the triangle got the little, my little homie right there Android now next thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to press the menu button here's the menu button and that didn't do anything so, obviously, I must be doing this the wrong way. Maybe I should hold it. Maybe I should press the search button. Okay, there we go. So you have to press the search, the higher search button. Now we see some options here. I don't know if you can see that. We see some options here that says basically, if you wanna reboot, you wanna apply some update, or do you wanna wipe the data? I'm going to scroll down to wipe data. Okay. Now I'm going to hit the menu button this time. All right. So he's asking me, do I really want to do this? Because there's no coming back from this. I'm going to click yes. Delete all user data. And then it started. Okay. Actually, it's not start because I have to click OK one more time. Really wants to make sure this is really what I want to do. So right now, it's formatting all data. It's wiping the phone. It could take between 15, well, 5 to 15, 20 minutes maybe. But I'm not going to sit here and subject you to this. And I'm running out of things to say. So I think what I'm going to do is... I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to come back once it's completed. How about that? Think that's cool? And then that's what I'm going to do. And I'll show you what happens after the fact. Now you may have saw that pretty Gucci screen uh, background that I had. Yeah, I like that. But when I boot my phone, that's going to be gone. That means all software that I installed, I'm going to have to reinstall it, all my information is going to be gone, 
And this is what I have to go through because I passed my code on to my phone. And now it's sick. So you, you have to be careful. Make sure you wash your hands. When you sneeze, you cough, you got a cold, before you touch your phone, please wash your hands, people. Please make sure that you wash your hands or you will infect your phone. So, what it's telling me here is that it can't open something. I'm not sure why, but I'm gonna hit the menu button again. Now it's rebooting, okay? Let's see what happens. Now, this is live, people. So, if it doesn't work, it just doesn't work. There's a possibility that I may have to take this back to the Verizon store and get a new phone. But, if it does work, then this is cool. I just want to make sure that you know what you need to do in case you run into this. So I took a look online, I see some forums, and they say a lot of people are affected by this problem. So, I'm always trying to help the people out, so I'm going to show you how you recover from this. Hopefully it works. If it doesn't, next stop is the Verizon store, and I'm probably going to get up late in the morning because I don't have an alarm clock. This is my alarm clock. So let's see what happens. It's taking a little extra long time here to reboot. And I don't know if that's a good sign or a bad sign, but something's definitely different. So let's see what really happens. Now again, folks, just quick summary. Just showing you how to reset your phone. This is what we call a hard reset. It takes it back to factory defaults, just like it did. It's coming to you just like it did from the store. All right? Everything that you install is completely gone. Whatever you had on your phone before is done. And it probably would have been a good idea to take the SD card out, but I didn't actually do that. So we getting, we see here, we're getting back to the beginning. Told me to touch the little green guy, that's my homie. And then now we gotta go all the way to the beginning. All right, now you don't have to do this part, but I'm actually gonna skip it. Now, you notice something different? It's not rebooting. I think we did it, folks. I think we've done it. I'm gonna skip that. I never liked that program anyway. Backup assist. So now it's communicating with the server. So we're gonna see what happens. But for right now, I'm happy because you know why? Because my phone is up. It looks brand new and refreshed. I think we've done it, folks. So, it may be a little early, but I'm gonna tell you, if you run into this problem and your phone is rebooting on its own, continuously, what you wanna do is, it's kinda of painful, but what you're gonna to have to do is, you're gonna to have to do a hard reset. You're gonna reset it back to the factory um, settings. This is what you have to do, all right? I wanna see the home screen so that we really know that this is working. I don't wanna be telling you something that's not really working, you know what I mean? Oh, uh, what's that? What's that? Ah, uh, I was just playing, okay. Got you. So, while it's communicating, I see that the phone is alive, and it said it's taking a little longer than it's expected, which I agree. But they're gonna do what they gotta do in the background. I just wanna make sure I can see my phone and know that everything is working. And look, we're back. Now that's not my preferred background, but again, this is like it just came out of the box. Back to default settings. All my apps are gone. Okay, so that's how you do it, folks.